Bervi says how to get rid of arrogance. People who are arrogant, they are also ignorant because they do not know. They do not know who they are themselves. And this is why they've got their info confused. Shaitan, Iblis, when he was ordered to prostrate to Adam, he re rejected and refused. He said, I am better than him, peace be upon him, Adam, alayhi salatu wasalam. I was created from fire and he was created from clay. Arrogance in addition to ignorance. No, fire is not better than clay. And even if it was better, this is not a justifiable reason for you to disobey Allah Azza wa So when you know yourself, you cannot boast about it. If you're an athlete and you're so strong and so healthy and you broke world records, you attribute this to Allah's favor upon you. And you're always afraid that Allah will take this favor away from you. The Prophet had a camel called Al Qaswa. And that camel was the fastest camel on earth. Nothing could come close to it. Whenever it raced other camels, it always won. One day, an Arabi came with his camel and requested a race, and he won. So the companions were shocked. How is it possible? The camel of the Prophet ﷺ loses. The Prophet said it with humbleness. It is a right upon Allah Azza wa Jal that nothing rises up except Allah will bring it down. Acknowledgement. Khalas, he knows that this is Allah's rule. And an athlete, a scholar, a wealthy man, someone of intellectual power, someone with power in the state, knows that he is there because Allah Azza wa Jal put him there. So he's always fearful. He's always humble. He treats people with humility, not with arrogance. The knowledge you have, Allah can erase it in a second. The wealth you have, and we've seen so many wealthy people losing billions in a flashlight. We've seen so many healthy people getting a small virus and they died or they lost their career, they've lost their strength. This is how you treat arrogance, by acknowledging the reality of your own self.